In this video, we will introduce the setting of PCA and the high-level idea. Assume we have a data set x in Rd consisting of n vectors. So x is a data set, and we have n vectors x1 to xn, where the xi are d-dimensional vectors. Our objective is to find a low-dimensional representation of the data that is as similar to x as possible. Before we start, let's briefly review three important concepts. The first one is that every vector in Rd can be represented as a linear combination of the basis vectors. So let's write this down. So we write xn can be written as the sum of i equals 1 to d of beta in times bi, where in the following we will assume that the bi are an orthonormal basis of Rd. If we assume that we use the dot product as our inner product and b1 to bd are an orthonormal basis, we can also write the beta in as xn transpose times bi, which means we can interpret beta in to be the orthogonal projection of xn onto the one-dimensional subspace spanned by the ith basis vector. The third property is that if we have an orthonormal basis b1 to bm, of Rd, and we define B to be the matrix that consists of these orthonormal basis vectors, then the projection of X onto the subspace we can write as X tilde is B times B transpose times X. That means X tilde is the orthogonal projection of X onto the subspace spanned by the m basis vectors. And b transpose times x are the coordinates of x tilde with respect to the basis vectors collected in the matrix B. This is also called the code. So coordinates or code. Now let's have a look at PCA. The key idea in PCA is to find a lower dimensional representation xn tilde of xn that can be expressed using fewer basis vectors, let's say m. We assume the data is centered, that means the data set has mean zero, and we also assume that b1 to bd are an orthonormal basis of Rd. Generally, we can write any xn tilde in the following way. xn tilde can be written as a sum i equals 1 to m of beta i n times b i plus the sum of i equals m plus 1 to d of beta i n times b i. So we took this entire thing is still living in Rd. So we took our general way of writing any vector in Rd, which comes from property 1, and we split the sum in property 1 into two sums. One is living in a m-dimensional subspace, and the other one is living in a d-m-dimensional subspace, which is an orthogonal complement to this particular subspace. In PCA, we ignore the second term, so we get rid of this part. And then we call the subspace that is spanned by the basis vectors b1 to bm the principal subspace. So b1 to bm span the principal subspace. Although xn tilde is still a d-dimensional vector, it lives in an m-dimensional subspace of Rd, and only m coordinates, beta n1 to beta nm, are necessary to represent it. So these ones are the coordinate of this xn tilde vector. The betas are then also called the code or the coordinates of tilde xn with respect to the basis vectors b1 to bm. And the setting now is as follows. Assuming we have data x1 to xn, we want to find parameters beta i n and orthonormal basis vectors bi 
such that the average squared reconstruction error is minimized. And we can write the average squared reconstruction error as follows. We can write j, that's the average squared reconstruction error, is going to be 1 over n times the sum n equals 1 to n. And then we write xn minus xn tilde squared. Let's have a look at an example. We have data living in two dimensions, and now we want to find a good one-dimensional subspace such that the squared or average squared reconstruction error of the data, original data points and their corresponding projections is minimized. Here I'm plotting the original data set with their corresponding projections onto one-dimensional subspaces, and I'm cycling through a couple of options of subspaces, and you can see that some of these projections are significantly more informative than others. And in PCA, we are going to find the best one. Our approach is to compute the partial derivatives of j with respect to the parameters. The parameters are the beta i n and the b i's. We set the partial derivatives of j with respect to these parameters to 0 and solve for the optimal parameters. But one observation we can already make, and that observation is that the parameters only enter this loss function through xn tilde. This means that in order to get our partial derivatives, we need to apply the chain rule. So we can write dj by d either beta i n or b i can be written as dj by dxn tilde times dxn tilde by d either beta i n or b i. And the first part we can already compute. And we get dj by dxn tilde is minus 2 over n times xn minus xn tilde transpose. And the other derivatives we compute in the next videos.